Hi everybody and thanks again for joining us on another wild side walk. Today we find ourselves in this wonderful place called Alderley Edge. This is a beautiful piece of woodland on the outskirts of Macclesfield. It's steeped with history and legend. The edge, as this area is known, is a sandstone escarpment which rises and sits above the little village of Alderley. It gradually rises out from Macclesfield for around three and a half miles when it will just suddenly stop and drop around 110 metres down to the Cheshire Plain below. This place is owned and managed by the National Trust and it's a really popular place for day trippers. In fact, there's around 300,000 people that visit this place every year. So at times it can get rather busy, but it's so easy to just drop away into some of these footpaths that I'm going to show you and get away from all the people. You did once get wonderful 360 views around from here, out over the Cheshire Plain and over to the Peak District. But since they planted all this woodland, in around 1745, the views have been confined to sort of in a north and easterly direction. This whole area is littered with old copper mines, which were blocked up in the early 60s due to a series of fatal and tragic accidents of people trying to explore and go down into the caves. But in 1969, the Derbyshire Caving Club were given, granted permission by the National Trust to reopen some of these mines, some of which you can still actually come and visit today. This whole area is so steeped in legend with stories of wizards and magical forces. It's also the setting for a well-known book called The Weird Stone of Bazingerman, which was written in the early 60s by somebody called Alan Gardner. So, it's time to get moving. I parked the car about less than a mile away from here uh, it's on the side of the road called School Lane, I think. Uh, you can also park in the National Trust car park. There is a charge for that and you could start the walk from there. So I'll put a link down in the description uh, with a, a map and showing some uh, directions how to do this walk. So come on guys, let's get moving. Yes, come on, where's Roy? Oh, he's there looking at the cows. Come on, Roy. When you reach the end of School Lane, turn left and look for the driveway next to the builder's yard on your right. This is a private driveway with a public footpath running the length of it. As the driveway bends to the right, you'll see a kissing gate straight ahead of you. You then need to take the path to your left between two fences. Once you've crossed the stile at the end, you need to take a right and go over another stile and into the woods. As you enter the woods, you'll come across this spectacular little waterfall on your left. Not surprisingly, the dogs make a beeline straight for it. They'd probably spend the whole day there given the chance. You'll see that the path splits into two and we need to take the top path which follows this spectacular little rocky outcrop. It's quite amazing to see how these large trees literally grow out of the side of the rock. 
I can't help wondering what it is they're actually growing in. It's early spring and this whole woodland is starting to come alive. There's sometimes an eerie feeling in these woods. It almost feels like something could jump out at you at any moment. Keep following the path through the trees and you will come out under a group of very large beech trees. They rise up almost like cathedrals into the sky. down a hill towards a small brook. Cross the brook, turn left and head off down the path through the trees. This will bring you out to an old blocked up copper mine. The path will then drop slightly downhill. You will then see a path on your left zigzagging up through some more large beech trees.
Skipping left, you'll then go through a small cluster of silver birch trees. When eventually you will come out onto the edge itself. You get some wonderful views from up here, looking out right across to Kinder Scout. the edge and head through the trees heading south. Once through a couple of gates we negotiate this narrow passage. We will then come out onto some open farmland next to a very large house. Take the left hand path where eventually you will come out amongst some properties on your left. come to the end of the track, take a left and head through the property on your left hand side. You'll cross over a small driveway and into an open field. Cross this field heading towards a stile which will then take you over onto the driveway where the walk began. Taking a right will take you back to where we parked the car. So there we have it, that's another wild side walk. Quick walk round Alderley Edge, just a, an hour or so. Um, we have been getting a few requests um, for shorter walks, you know, walks that people can do with children or just easier walks. So uh, I thought I'd include this and let me know what you think. Let me know if you give it a go. Uh, you can elaborate with this walk because there's so much to explore around here. You could, you could just do the walk and then head off into the woodlands and, um, and explore. Uh, but yeah, give it a go, let me know what you think. Uh, as you probably noticed, I'm back here a little bit later in, in the year. Uh, it's a few weeks since we did filming. It's uh, late spring now. And uh, I just thought I'd come back and let you see what it's like uh, when things sort of burst into life around here, because it really is a beautiful place. So I hope you can join me for my next walk. I'm not too sure yet where it's going to be, but as always, I can guarantee you it's going to make you feel alive. What do you think, dogs? Yeah? I think it is, yeah. I think it is. Anyway, till next time, take care, and thanks again for watching. Come on, then. Don't forget your ball.